It's your girl Moja Ashiki back at it with another video. Today, y'all, I'm gonna do a story time. So I'm gonna do a story time about this stupid girl from the summertime. So I'm not gonna use no real names. So I'm gonna use what's her name gonna be today? Her name is gonna be Sally. So let me tell y'all about Sally, y'all. Mm. If you in college and y'all ever had a bad roommate, I know we right here. We right here. I know it. So let me tell y'all how it began. My first day, y'all. So mind y'all, I started college literally like two weeks after I graduated from high school. I started in the summertime. So, my roommate, I'm like, oh, we gonna be real cool because, you know, she went to school down the street from me. She went to school with my best friends and stuff. So, I'm asking my best friends, like, I'm gonna use my best friend real name. Her name is Tiara. So, I'm calling Tiara, like, girl, like, you you know Sally? She like, no, I heard of her. Like, you know, Sally is, you know, a little thottish. She got thottish ways. I'm like, oh, that's okay, cool. Whatever, I don't care about none of that. Like, you know, I can, you still vibe with her. You can vibe with a thought. You can have fun with a thought. Like, party, everything. Yeah, y'all, I thought wrong. So I get there first, you know, sitting on my side. Boom, 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 boom. Cute, everything. So when I came back, I had dropped everything off. Me and my boyfriend and my mom dropped everything off or whatever. So then, you know, I come back on Sunday, and I see Sally got her bed made up and stuff, and I'm like, oh, she need, all right? You know, everything's gonna be cool. So I'm meeting my other roommates. So I have a white roommate. I had a white one. Well, these are my sweet mates. So I had a white one and another black girl, but she was like, they both was Orioles. So the white girl was really the black girl, and the black girl was really the white one. And so we gonna call the white girl, I don't mean to be racist y'all, but you know, that's what she is. We gonna call the white girl, honey. We gonna call the white girl, honey. We gonna call the black girl, TT. We gonna call her TT. Honey and TT and Sally. Sally's my roommate, TT and Honey is my sweet mates. So we talking to them or whatever. And I seen Sally, she in the room or whatever. So I speak, you know, that's the proper thing to do. So I'm speaking to her or whatever. And everything's all right. And so this is our first day here, mind you. So she leaves out the room and I'm talking to Honey and TT or whatever. And we, you know, chopping it up. Mm, like two minutes later, Sally comes back up with the boy. And this boy has a gun and stuff. And I'm looking like... Who is this? And then they go in the room and shut the door. And I'm like, I don't even know Sally enough for her to be going in the room with a nigga. Or my bad, excuse me, with a boy. And I don't even know who this is. And I don't even know you. So, I go in the room and I'm like, excuse me, can you step out for a minute? Like, he doing the most extra. So, I'm talking to her, whatever. And I'm like, like can you let me know where you're going to bring guests? When I bring my boyfriend, I'm going to definitely let you know. Like, my boyfriend's coming tonight or whatever. Or he's just coming, period, to hang out with me. She's like, okay. First strike. So, she talked to him for a little bit and then they leave. A few days go by and she's bringing another boy or whatever. Long story short, she was really a thought. So, sis had all the boys or whatever and she was doing the nasty with all of them like girl one time me and my other boo we gonna call name kiki real names for them and you know kiki got her little on youtube too anyways we'll talk about it later so i met kiki before the summertime but we weren't really close we, we got close in the summertime so um with Kiki and Honey and TT. We all together 
and we went to go see this boy and i'm like this not for me like y'all want to see him i'm just here for support let me go so kiki come back to my room with me or whatever and my door's locked and i'm like why's my door locked so then i hear moaning and groaning and all this and i'm like oh sis in here doing the nasty um okay sis you can do that, but y'all need to hurry up because I have to go to bed. And mind you, this is the first day. Like, that night, we need to go to bed because the next day was our first day of class. And I'm new to college, so I'm like, mm -mm, I need to be on time. I had to do the thing. Like, I can't be doing that. So, I'm like, hurry up. I didn't go to bed, y'all, So like almost 2, 3 o'clock in the morning because sis was up doing the nasty. Like, girl... You couldn't wait. Like, you was ready for this freedom so you could do what you wanted to do. For real, like, no respect for me. I'm like, okay. Strike two, y'all. Strike two. I should have been cut off at strike three, but I'm so nice that I just kept letting it. Slide out a little bit. So, yeah. After that, fast forward, me and her was chopping it up. I'm cool. I'm talking to her auntie and everything. Like, we're cool. Then she started going out all the time, going to the club and stuff. Almost every weekend I went home, I stayed only like 30, 40 minutes away from my school. I go to Georgia State. So I'm like, y'all, like, girl, you not be coming in here doing all this, doing all that. I don't even remember part of the story, y'all. So we're going to skip to the good part. So then she got with this boy named, I'm going to use his real name because it's a number. His name's Seven. She got with him, I'm like, okay, yeah, he cool or whatever. Then she started bringing him over. Y'all, this boy stayed in our room for about a week. I'm like, so when is he leaving? Like, I don't want to wake up looking to y'all face. Like, y'all over here spooning and I don't know what y'all doing while I'm asleep. Like, oh, no, 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 girl, bye. And one time they was having sex. I can make him in and it smelled so bad, y'all. Like, so bad. I was so freaking mad. I'm like, bro, like, I'm going to need y'all to get this together. Like, you know, hurry up. And so... That happened, whatever, and I'm like, asking her, like, when is he gonna leave? Blah blah blah. My job for real, y'all. I really don't remember the story all, like, all the way. I just remember the place that just really made me mad. So, after she had him over for a week, y'all, she finally leaves. But then she comes back, and this time she brings a little struggler with her, homeless girl. And I'm like, but mind y'all, y'all, I didn't even know she was homeless or struggler at the beginning. I just remember I'm in my little old bed trying to go to sleep, and my, in the summer, y'all, I was so freaking sick. Like, when I get sick, I'll be sick for a long time. I had to go to the doctor and everything. I had to go to the doctor that next morning because I really couldn't do it. But that's what I was saying. So, I'm asleep. And next thing I hear, <laughs> doing all of this. And I'm like, trying to talk my throat hurt. Then, I'm like, y'all shut up. Like, I'm trying to go to sleep, y'all. Be quiet. We got to go to school tomorrow. Tell me why I didn't know this even to after the fact. She in the room running her mouth, struggling, girl. Like, girl, I could have put you out then. But I'm trying to be nice because I'm sick and stuff. So I'm in my bed. You know, trying to sleep. So, I, I'm thinking she wanted to, at the same time that she was there, it was like, um, overnight, um, orientation for school. So, I'm like, oh, she wanted the girls, you know, from school or whatever. Not knowing that this girl is actually 20-something years old trying to live off me and my sweet mates and my roommate. Mind you, I still don't like her. No. But, we pay our money for this, like, why are you inviting people to live off of our money? College ain't cheap, baby. Don't, mm, nope, gotta go. <sighs> so, that happens. And... At, in the midst of all of this, it's just so much. And I don't know where this part. I think this was before the girl got here or during the girl being there. My roommate Sally then left our sweet mate, TT, to basically get raped by some boys. And I'm like, oh, nope. I don't know. It's after. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to get in the car. Say hey. You know, I already started my What's oh, it's popping. I'm going to tell me the story. Oh, what's the story? Let me, let me, let me. Ooh, I thought Sally. I can't say her real name. My roommate from time. Oh, damn. You can't cut it. I mean, dang. That's not that funny because it works. Hey. But yeah, I think I was at the part. Oh, she left TT to basically get raped at this boy house. They don't even know who he is because she left to go smoke with some random boys, grown ass men, that shouldn't be talking to her. And so, after that, I'm cussing her out. I'm calling her up like, you need to get your, your knees. Like, she's a mess, basically. So that's up with them. Da 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 da. So, strike with girl there, or whatever. She stays for however long. So, this boy right here. Takes me out to eat some food and stuff or whatever. I come back and I see 
Bing, start with a with just t-shirt on. She got a t-shirt on. And I'll come out while I'm walking out the elevator and I'll say fun. Uh you might want to knock on your door when you get in there. I said knock on my door for what? Was she in there doing her doing her thing? She gonna say fun. <laughs> she gonna say fun. Uh I think so. And mind you, she walking with a boy already, so I'm looking like, ooh, she think this is it. So she had two more in there? No, Stradley girl had one. And then Stradley had oh, one. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Oh, that was not getting in. <laughs> Mind you, Stradley girl was doing it on somebody else's bed. My sweet maid, uh, TT bed. Girl, nasty, just, just nasty. And I don't know what they was doing in my room. They probably was over there on my desk and everything.